Building the vast underground metro in this jam-packed capital city involves a series of key challenges. The team needs to excavate 17 massive holes right in the heart of the city. Inside them, they will build the sunken stations. To connect up each station, Valerio and his team must excavate three million tons of earth to create the two circular tunnels for the trains. Hot on the heels of the tunnelers, a team of track layers must position, concrete and weld together over 22 miles of rail track. Engineers must also construct and test the fleet of 39 new driverless trains. One of the team's greatest challenges will be to construct the stretch of tunnels that must pass directly underneath Copenhagen's historic central train station whilst it remains open. This is the Italian headquarters. We have here the technical office where we control the excavation and uh, the progression of the machines. We got a map here of uh, Copenhagen. This is City Ringen. We are here and the City Ringen is uh, completing the circle around Copenhagen and in interconnecting in two places with the existing metro. First task, construct the tunnels. These must be built before work inside the stations can continue. We have uh, 36 months to, to complete the, the tunneling. There is always the possibility to make a mistake in tunneling and we need to be focused and to maintain our concentration. As the son of a geologist, Valerio is no stranger to the underground. He has over 21 years experience on mining projects around the world. But the city Ringen tunnels pose his biggest challenge to date. I never had uh, such a big project to manage and such a big company to manage all by myself. Uh, this one was a pretty challenging task. To excavate the 19 miles of tunnels on time, the team is using a fleet of innovative digging vehicles called Tunnel Boring Machines, or TBMs. We currently have four machines uh, working at the same time in this moment under Copenhagen. Each machine is 344 feet long and is a mobile tunnel building factory. At the front, a giant 19-foot rotating cutter head claws away at the earth. The excavated material moves away from the cutter head on a conveyor. It is loaded into carts for a small train to tow away. A robot arm installs pre-cast concrete segments to line the freshly dug tunnel tubes. It takes six segments to make up a complete tunnel ring 4.6 feet wide. Hydraulic pistons then push the machine forward so the process can begin again. On average, each tunnel digging machine can install 18 rings a day as it snakes its way under Copenhagen. We are looking at the TBM and the position on the map and these lines are the tunnel to be excavated. The kitchen, they do split screen, recipe on one side and the TBM on the other side. Tunnelers began work in 2013. And they've been digging non-stop ever since. The machines claw away up to 3,000 tons of earth, sand and super hard rock every day. They allow the team to dig out and line an average of 3.7 miles of tunnel per year. Today is a crucial day for the tunneling team. One of the four machines has burrowed its way north to what will become Trianglen Station. Now it must break through into the half-built station structure itself so that the tunnels and stations connect. Claudio Ramazzini is in charge of this critical part of the operation. This is the breaking side of the station. Basically, 
as you can see here, here we have the concrete block and uh, inside of this concrete block we have one of our big uh, tunnel boring machine and is about to get in the station. But that's easier said than done. To prepare for the machine's breakthrough, engineers have built a giant concrete block at the precise point where it will enter. The block acts as a plug to stop earth and groundwater flowing into the station as the machine eases through. Without this block, the pressure from the surrounding water in the ground could cause the wall around the machine to collapse, creating catastrophic damage. The tunnel boring machine is about uh, 11 meters inside the concrete block. If you get closer to the wall, you can hear the noise of the cutter head cutting the concrete. For Claudio, the stakes are high. You have to do the break-in on time to stay on schedule. So the teams here in Triangle Station can finish building the station. Paul Evans heads down to make final checks. Some of the concerns we have when the actual TBM literally breaks through that concrete is the possibility of debris flying quite a distance and injuring people. But with the tunneling machine just 16 feet away from breaking through, the team hit a problem. Okay. Groundwater starts flooding into the station through a gap in the top of the concrete block, threatening the entire project. We had a problem, we had a water inflow, so we had to stop the excavation. We need to get this fixed quickly so we can proceed with the operation, uh, the breakthrough operations. We don't want delay. Groundwater is flowing through a gap between the outer edge of the tunnel and the platform ceiling. Unstopped, it could flood the tunnels. To stem the flow, Valerio's team must drill a ring of holes through the tunnel segments. The holes need to be at the precise point where the tunnel meets the station's exterior wall. Then they'll inject a special type of resin through these holes. The resin solidifies on contact with water and should form a watertight seal around the tunnel to plug the leak. Inside the station, engineers have begun battling the flood water. We are going to fix it uh, by pumping out the water uh, by two big pumps and also we have a truck on surface uh, sucking the water from the truck level. It takes a frantic few days working round the clock to make the station watertight. The weekend was very hard for me, for everybody. We inject uh, some resin and then uh, we, we stop the water inflow. Now we are excavating the last 80 centimeters. Leak fixed, the team can now focus on the crucial breakthrough and hope that the resin plug holds up. This is one of the most important parts of the project. Everybody's waiting. Everybody nervous and want to see the cutter head coming through the block. The station team gather to witness the milestone. It's an anxious time for workers. I've been waiting for four years for this machine to arrive on this side. 60, 60 centimeter. Okay, now I'm going to call the pilot and say to him, restart and break in. Finish. No more delays. <laughs> this is uh, the moment of the truth. now because we are with the tunnel boring machine uh, we have done the, the break-in so great moment success 
the tunneling team break through and join up with the station crew for the first time. But for Claudio, the hard work doesn't stop here. All the pressure uh, gone now, just for a few hours, and then uh, again pressure because we have to push the, the tunnel very machine at the opposite, uh, at the other side of the station. <laughs> 